Hello guys, what's up? So now that we've learned how to position the Enscape window and also how to navigate around the 3D space using this window, we'll try to explore other features of Enscape so that we can reach a better rendering. So we have a lot of work to do and we will start by making a few adjustments in the lighting. We are using the same file as before and you can notice that now this synchronize views button is active. So whenever we make any change in the SketchUp model, such as orbit or pen, the Enscape window will basically follow and we will have the same camera view. And if you prefer to make the adjustments using the escape window, you can basically deactivate this button. And in this case, you can explore the Enscape window independently of the SketchUp model view. You can also notice that in this file, there is already a scene saved called right view. So if we click here in this tab, our camera shifts to this position that I had already saved and our Enscape view will also show the same camera angle. It would be interesting here to be able to visualize the model and the rendering in a bigger size. So I will click here in auto hide so that our default tray will be hideable and whenever we want, we can basically expand it. And we can also hide this help area here by clicking here in this cross. So now we are able to see our model and rendering in a much better way. So to start our lighting process, it's important to understand that the natural light here in Enscape is basically following the SketchUp Sun. So if we expand the default tray and open here the Shadows tab, you can notice that if we tweak this time slider and also the date slider, we will be basically changing the sun's position and of course its projection in the scene. So the first step to define a nice natural lighting setup is to choose the parameters that provide a nice projection. So if we click here in view shadows, you will see that the shadows that are produced by the SketchUp Sun are the same shadows that are being cast here in the Enscape window and you can leave this option here active or you can deactivate if you like since it consumes a little bit of memory in the model so i will basically deactivate it so one way to define a nice natural light would be basically to control these parameters here and experiment with different values and another way to control the sun's position and the way the shadows are being cast here would be to use the shortcuts. However, we have to be a little bit careful because when we do so, the changes that are produced by the hotkeys are not necessarily being saved in the scene and also in the file. So it would be a quick way to reach a nice lighting, but it won't be a good way to organize your model. But if you want to use the hotkeys, you can use the I key to change the time of the day and you can check the value here and you can also use the U key to go in the other way also changing the time of the day we can also combine the shift key with the I key and this will make the sun's position be more horizontal or more vertical and we can also use the control I and the control U and in this case, we are basically rotating the sun's position as if we were using, for example, the plugin Solar North. So if our intention is to quickly define the sun's position, we can use the combination of all these hotkeys that I've just mentioned. But this wouldn't be a nice way to organize the model for future edition. In further lessons, we will take a look at the view management here in Enscape. And here there are interesting ways to define the sun's position. For example, clicking here in this button. And here we have a very interesting way of controlling the sun, which in my opinion is much more professional. But for this first lessons here, I won't be using the view management. And I will prefer to basically control the sun's position here using the time and date slider 
And when we do so, we can save our changes here in the scene without facing any kind of problem. So since we made a lot of changes here, I will basically open again the same file that we are working, which is called Kitchen01. And I will basically revert it back to the previous version. Okay, and for the sake of this first example, it would be more secure to make the adjustments here using the SketchUp models parameter. So I will basically play with this first slider, also play a little bit with the date till I get a nice result. I really like when the sun hits our model in a very soft way. So I will search for this kind of mood. Okay, I think this is a very nice position for the sun. And to save this position, I will basically click here in our scene with the right mouse button and I will choose the option to update. So now, if I make any changes to the angle and also to the natural light and I click here again, I'll basically go back to the state of the scene that I've just saved. Okay, so the first step to define our natural lighting setup would be to choose a nice position and direction for the sun and we can basically explore the existing SketchUp system that you are probably used to work with. The next step would be to make some fine tuning because we probably have here an image that needs some more brightness or contrast and Enscape offers some nice resources that can help us now. So if we click here in this button called Visual Settings, we can explore now this window which offers many resources that can improve our rendering. So I'll place this window here in the left. And first of all, we can explore the exposure control. So basically, if we change this value, we can make our rendering look brighter or darker, as if we were adjusting the exposure of a real camera. So if I drag this slider a bit to the right, you can check that our image is getting much brighter. And I guess it's a little bit better than it was because there were a lot of shadows appearing. And after making this adjustment, we might want to decrease a little bit the highlights of the image. So in this case, we can explore this second tab here called image. And now we can, for example, decrease a little bit the highlights. So the bright areas will get a little bit darker. We can even see much better now the sky and these spots are not so bright now. And if we would like to increase a little bit the contrast of the image, we can increase the shadows to make the shadows a little bit darker. And now we are starting to have a much more interesting image. Of course, we have a lot of parameters here that we can change and we will probably go back to them in the following lessons. But for now, it's important that you understand that to make a nice lighting setup here in Enscape, we can play with the sun's position, but we also have to remember to open the visual settings parameters and here we have access to many resources that we are normally used to work in the post-production process, but Enscape can anticipate this kind of work for us.